Hi, beautiful people welcome to our developer's diary YouTube channel. Today we shall learn how to create fragment in SAP UI5. In the previous tutorial we have created simple form, you can see the video link in the description. Kindly subscribe to our channel so that you can get amazing and informative videos. We have created this simple form in the last tutorial, so we shall use it. In the view folder creates a new file simple dialog with extension fragment.xml. We shall develop fragment components in the core fragment definition tab. Mention its XMLNS dependencies. We are going to create a dialogue in this fragment. So use dialog tab, mention the dialog properties, id and title. In the dialog, we shall define the button portion by using the end button tab. In this portion enter the button tag and mention its properties press and text. We shall define the button text in i18n file. The fragment does not have its controller. It depends upon the controller who will call it. In our last tutorial, we have added some basic logic to testing user login. So we shall add code for fragments in our logic. We shall check is there any p-dialog parameter existing in the main window DOM. If not then we shall load fragment in this p-dialog parameter. We shall provide an object that contains the name of our newly created fragment. NS and login page module is the name of our namespace and module name that we have mentioned at the time of the project creation wizard. After that, we shall add a promise to this p-dialog parameter to open this fragment dialog. Now we shall define on close dialog function in the main controller. Simply, get the fragment dialog by it id and call the close function. Enter the username and password and press the login button. Fragment with its dialog box has appeared. Press OK button to close it. Now we shall pass values from the main view to fragment. Let's create an input field in fragment dialog. Mention its ID. By getting its ID set the value of this input field. Mm -hmm. 
Now dialog box is not appearing. I have done this for a purpose. As per JS concept, we have to bind this keyword with the callback function. Now dialog box is showing and also value has been passed to the fragment attribute. Now let's get the value from the fragment to the main controller. We shall get the value of the input field and store it in a variable. Let's show the value by using message toast. So, we have covered the SAP fragment in this tutorial. Thanks for watching.